Nigerians, are you guys truly seeking justice for Mubad? Or you guys are just fighting Naira Mali and Samilari? Because if truly you guys are truly seeking justice for Mubad, then why are some of you beginning to fight the very dark man? Simply because he said that a DNA test should be conducted on Mobad's son. I don't know why most of times in this country we always like to apply emotions in everything we are doing. And it is always very very easy for some people to distract us. This is why our government are always taking advantage of us. Because they know that we cannot stand together to fight for anything. Some people can be paid off and they will be using those few people among us to distract millions of us. Now, since the death of Mubad, we have seen a lot of videos, we have seen a lot of conversations, we have seen a lot of people acting somehow. Almost everyone related to Mubad look like suspects, not just Naramali, not just Samilari. Yes, I will agree that Naramali bullied this guy when he was alive. That is the simple truth. He bullied him and his guy, his gangs. They bullied this guy a lot. Of which even Mobad even confessed in one of his videos that if anything happened to him, that we should hold Naramali responsible. But what if someone, seeing that Naramali and Mobad are having issues, decided to take advantage of that? Knowing fully well that when Mobad is dead, that Nigerians will focus on Naramali. What if? Why can't we think outside the bus? Why is it that Nigerians are always against anyone that is thinking outside the bus? Knowing fully well that most times, those that think outside the bus always win. Just that the very dark man refused to train straight the way Nigerians are thinking. Now, so many of you are beginning to fight him. Simply because he's demanding for DNA tests. What if he's right? Yes, what if it is true that Mobad is not the father of that child? What if very dark man is right? What if? Why can't we think in that direction? And what is very what is even difficult to conduct that DNA test so that Nigerian can know that yes, the wife is clear from these allegations. At least to remove your name from the bad book. Because now eh, everyone that is related to Mobad is looking like a suspect, including his immediate family not just Naramali. So it is duty of everyone now to start clearing their name from the bad book. And now you guys are not turning back. Some of you are not being paid. Even some of these bloggers are the ones now that are being used to distract Nigerians that are seeking for justice. Otherwise, tell me why this lover went and leaked Very Dark Man Bola. What is the relationship between very dark man Bola and justice for Mobad that we, are, we all are clamoring for? And so many of you are now sharing him, sharing this, lo this lover up simply because he's trying to cause distraction among you guys. Who even knows? Maybe the person that has a hand in Mobad's death is even the one engineering this lover. Who even knows? You guys are not thinking in that direction. Since this news started, since the death of Mobad, I can tell you that Very Dark Man is among the people that have been fighting genuinely and seeking justice for this young man. Because he's not just thinking in one direction. Because you know we Nigerians here, we always like to think in one direction. And the moment we see someone that is thinking outside the bus, we see that person as someone who is insane or someone that is, is not making sense. Because we all want to, want to be hearing, oh, Naramali, Naramali, Samilari, Samilari. We don't want to prison outside the bus. Today, most of you are not trying to distract him. Please, my brother, very dark man, this is Nigerian for you. Many people that have, that have been fighting, seeking and demanding for justice in this country, fighting for the voiceless, so many of them are being thrown into prison today. So many of them, Nigerians are even calling for their head to be cut off. That is Nigerian for you. They hate people who is, who is telling them the truth. They don't like anyone who is saying the truth. So, my brother, stand firm. What we are seeing now, more is going to come. More fight is going to come. If they do not bully you to shut up, they will start sending some people to come and pay you off. And if you fail to, to, if you fail to succumb to that, now they will start looking for those who are closer to you. They will want to use those who are closer to you to get you down, either by paying you 
and if they fail to if they source if they fail to succeed in those in this aspect i just listed now then they will start fighting you spiritually as well this is nigerian for you don't just think that we are getting these leaders we are having by accident no our leaders are also the product of our society that is the country we are the citizens as well also have their own fault just because this young man is demanding justice in all aspects thinking outside the box many of you are now beginning to see him as an enemy and some of these bloggers that have been paid are, are now trying to cause distraction you guys refuse to think you guys refuse to think from the video that have been circulating online since the death of Mobad, from from the conversation from the voice clips from everything shows that it is not just naramali and samilari alone and now someone is now trying to remind you guys where you guys have to be looking into places you guys have to be thinking about and some of you are beginning to turn back against him this lover now went and released the guys bola just to cause distraction or just to make Nigerian to hate him. I don't know when we are going to change you. 